Hey everybody, it's Sunday. It is now August 6, 2017. Want to give a quick little update on the weather today, which is actually very nice, but prepare people for the week ahead. We've got the PGA Championship coming to town. We've got the first preseason game, home game for the Panthers on Wednesday, and the pattern is looking extremely wet. Let me show you what's going on right now, and this kind of really explains uh, what's going to be happening over the next couple of days. You see this front, it's kind of stalled right here. It's kind of wavy. Um, some areas is a warm front, cold front going like this. This is going to be draped across the entire area for most of this week. And we're going to see waves of energy like we're seeing one here, one back here, kind of track along the stalled front. So today actually ended up being a little nicer than I expected on Friday because the front actually stayed to the south. But you can see where the front is. We've got showers and thunderstorms trying to fire up along the boundary in Lancaster County, Chesterfield, Anson, Stanley County. And as this moves back to the north, I expect showers and thunderstorms will develop later this evening into the overnight hours, uh, especially into Monday as this moisture starts to increase from the west. Now, I want to show you something real quickly because the long-range outlook is not great. Um, I'm going to turn off the satellite here and we'll turn off the radar real quickly. And I'm going to show you what the... Uh, the long range stuff looks like because it's not looking real good. This is the precipitation forecast um, <laughs> going out into the future. And you can see um, this area right in here, this is around, I think this is around four inches over the next five days. Um, and right around Charlotte, you're looking at about two to three inches. So along the stalled frontal boundary, I expect to see some pretty heavy amounts uh, of rain every single day as wave after wave of showers and storms move through. So let me show you the future cast. We'll, wind, we'll back this up a little bit. Um, this is starting today, and you can see the waves of showers and thunderstorms moving through tonight um, into tomorrow. Pretty soggy day tomorrow, maybe even some strong storms. Um, going into Tuesday, even more storms. Then we go into Wednesday. It looks like the rain's a little bit less on Wednesday, but still scattered showers and storms around on Wednesday. There's Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening. And then let's look into Thursday. We'll go into Thursday morning. Uh, Thursday afternoon showers. Thursday evening showers. We'll go into Friday rain. We'll go into Saturday <clears throat> rain. <laughs> and we'll go into Sunday. Guess what? Rain. So this is a really soggy pattern that's setting up. And that's why you see these amounts of rain. This is about four inches here. This is about three inches. And over Charlotte, uh, two to three inches over the next five days, basically between now and the weekend. And it, this pattern is just not going to budge much. Uh, we've got this stalled front, a trough to the west, and pretty much everything you need to have just a really, really wet pattern. So I wish I had better news for everybody. Um, the good news today is nice. Unfortunately, if you're going to the PGA, if you're going to the Panthers game, uh, the thing I would tell you is make sure you are ready for some soggy weather. It is going to be a very wet week into the weekend across the Carolinas. The good news, the temperatures will be in the mid to lower 80s, so it will be a little bit cooler than average, but unfortunately, it is going to be very soggy. Of course, keep following me, uh, WX Brad on Facebook and Twitter. I'll have updates throughout the week. And of course, we can catch me on air at 4, 5, and 6 on Monday on NBC Charlotte. Enjoy your Sunday, and I wish I had better news, but stay tuned. If anything changes, I'll let you know.